I'm Megan Wheeler, and today I'm going to teach you Serious Love. It's an advanced phrased waltz that I choreographed with Scott Blevins. It has four walls and an A, B, and C pattern. Now, if you want to watch me dance Serious Love, make sure you watch the demo, which will be linked in the description down below. And also, if you like this teach, make sure you press the like button. Finally, <laughs> If you enjoy my videos and you want to watch more teachers and demos, please subscribe. Now, if you want to watch me teach Serious Love, please keep watching. Alright, so for Serious Love, we're going to start facing the 12 o'clock wall, which for us is going to be this wall. That way you can learn it from behind me. So, we step forward on one. We're going to half pivot turn. Two. We're going to step down on our right foot on three. Okay? Every time except for the first time we do this, we're going to step forward on our left on one. The very first time the music starts right away. So, in order to help with that, you're just going to start on your left foot. Okay? So, you're already on your left foot for our first ever wall and only that wall. We pay the turn around two, step down on three. We're going to weave to our right, which is towards the 9 o'clock wall, crossing in front with our left, 4, 5, 6. Okay? That 6 again goes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now, I have my arms wound around me because we are about to take a big side step to our right, and I'm going to let my arms go. Okay? This is just styling. If you don't want to do the arms, you don't have to. Okay? It would just be four, five, six, one. Okay? So, again, if you want to do the arms, as you take your step backwards, I let my arms kind of twirl with me, and then I wrap them so that way as I take my side step, I can undo them for a big arm. Okay, you see that nice arm line? Now, as I'm here, one, I'm going to continue on, we pull that left knee in, two, three. Now, we are prepped for our turn to the left, okay? Always twerk the other way for a turn to help you turn better, okay? So, again, we just went four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. That's a full turn to our left. We step to 3 o'clock on our left foot. Half turn on our right foot. Still going to our left. Half turn, stepping on our left foot. Okay? Just a regular three-step turn. Okay? So, from there, I'm going to step also to 3 o'clock, but kind of crossing myself because I'm going to turn to the right. Okay, so again, we're going the other way. I'm winding myself up so that way I can unwind for a turn. Okay, so I step on my right foot on one. I'm going to bring my foot up to passe on two. Okay, and I'm going to leave it there as I float around for the rest of my half turn on three, stepping down on four. Again, that's one, two, three, stepping across four. We're going to step a quarter turn to our left, stepping backwards to face six o'clock, and a half turn, stepping on our left foot on six. Okay, now we're back to our original starting wall. Okay, so all of that again goes one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Very good. Okay, moving on, we are going to continue moving to our left as we take a big side step on our right foot on one. As we take this side step, again, we are going to drag our left foot in, but this time we are not preparing for a turn, so you don't need a big torque. You just need a big swing. 
Okay? So we're turning and swing to three. Now I'm going to quarter turn to my left, stepping forward on my left to six o'clock. I'm going to step forward on my right to six o'clock. Now I'm going to step back, making three eighths of a turn. You're welcome for that math moment. <laughs> We're going to make three eighths of a turn. Basically, you just want to get to the corner, our 11 o'clock corner, or 10.30, or whatever that is. So, let's do that again. So, we take our big step on one, dragging our foot in, two, three. I'm going to step a quarter turn to my left, four, five, back, six. I'm now on the diagonal. This is my new diagonal for the next couple counts, okay? So, just remember which diagonal you're on. You're going to use this point and the opposite point. So, from here I'm going to make a full turn. So again, using this opposite point, I'm stepping forward as I make half of a turn. I'm going to step in front of my right foot with my left foot towards this 430 corner. And as I step, I'm going to pivot around to bring my right foot in slightly as a preparation for a diamond, okay? So again, remember, we're on the diagonals. Okay, so we just ended right here. We go one, two, unwind three. We start our diamond, stepping forward on the diagonal, four. We're gonna step to the side on our left foot, squaring up to 12 o'clock, five. Stepping back to the next diagonal on six. Continuing on, we step back on our left foot on one to the side, which now faces three o'clock on two, and to our new corner on three, stepping on our left foot. So again, I'm now at this back part of my diagonal. Keep focus on this because this is the part where it's tricky with the walls. With the diamond being on the corners and everything, it's easy to lose your spot. So make sure that from this part where we swing, walk, walk, back, you find your corner. Immediately after, you find your next corner. These are the corners you're using for your diamond. This is where you end your diamond, okay? So as we step and pivot, I'm going to diamond back to that corner, okay? That's the important part to remember there. That way you don't get confused on walls. Now from here, I've ended my diamond. I'm going to step on one, four. Stepping forward on four, stepping forward on five, pivoting around to make seven eighths of a turn on six. You are now facing three o'clock. The easier version, because the song is a little brisk, it's my favorite word to use for fast, <laughs> it's a little brisk, as you step forward, your second step, instead of stepping forward completely and then doing all of the turn on the last count, for an easier version, start on that second step. So we step forward on four, we're stepping on five, and here, start your, your turn and spiral that leg, stepping down on six. So, a spiral, by the nature of the turn, does not allow you to make a full turn because my foot has to stay where it was, right? So, by nature of doing a spiral, I will do no more than seven-eighths of a turn. You may do less, but when you take your step, you just finish squaring up to the side wall. Okay? So either way, it was choreographed as a pivot with seven eighths, but I have found through teaching that this is a simpler version. Okay? Almost done. Big side step. We're going to torque our body to the left. One, two, three. Stay nice and elongated for this one. So that way you step and we are nice and prepped. You're going to make that quarter turn, stepping on your right, half turn, stepping back on your left, quarter turn, stepping on our right, okay? So, we just ended our diamond. One, two, 
three, four, five, six. Now, you're supposed to end squared up, but the next thing we do is twinkle. So if you go back to our favorite corner, that's fine. That's what I like to do because it keeps me open for my now twinkle. Stepping across on our left, one. Side step, two, three. Stepping down three. We step across on our right, four. We're gonna make a quarter turn, stepping back on our left for five, and a quarter turn stepping to our side for six. End of A, okay? Let's do all of that again. One, two, three, four, five, six. 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 One, two, uh, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Awesome job! You made it through A. Okay, B is half of the length of A, 24 counts. I'm not sure if I said the A was 48 counts, but now you know. Um, so B is actually going to start the first time we do it facing this side wall, 9 o'clock. But I'm going to teach it to you facing 12 o'clock, A, so you can see it from the back in B, <laughs> like the dance A and B, and B, so, um, because we do it to the front eventually, so you'll already know it that way, okay? So we start B, we just ended our twinkle and our twinkle half turn. We start B, crossing our left foot in front. One. We rock two on our right foot to the side. Recover three. We weave. Four, five, six. Crossing right, front, side, behind. We now roll. One, two, three. Okay, just a basic turn. Again, from the top of B, that's uh, cross, side rock, recover, cross, Side back, our turn is quarter on our left to face nine o'clock, half on our right to face three o'clock, and a half turn on our left to face nine o'clock. Why are clocks so hard for me? <laughs> okay, now to continue that six, we step across just like we did before when we did that big passe turn. So for now, we're going to do a baby version, okay? You're welcome. A baby version, okay? So we step across, and you're just going to bring it up to coupe, because again, baby. And we're just going to turn, whoop, just right past 12 o'clock. Really, what we're doing is we're opening up, so we're angled for our turn to the left, okay? So again, it's all about the torque. Using your body to help you dance, essentially. So... We just went, we rolled, one, two, three. We just went four, five, six. We're gonna step across for one on our left foot. I'm gonna quarter turn to our left, facing nine o'clock, stepping back on our right, and stepping side to face six o'clock on our left. Repeat on the right, okay? So you're gonna reverse that whole thing. You're stepping across on your right, Stepping back on your left, we're still facing that clock, stepping to the side on your right. Should be back where we started. We're going to step up one to the front, bringing that back foot in again, through the other foot, and then coaster step four, five, six, okay? Now I'm going to give you styling on that. My particular styling is as I take that big step forward, Waltz is all about swing and sway, okay? So we're going to swing like a boat. Have you seen the boat ride? Like that's what we're gonna do with our hips, okay? So as you step forward, we're swinging. So I'm gonna bring my arms up so I can swing up. Whoop, you're at the top of that arc. So you hold, two, three. We back it up, four, five, six. See how it's like a boat? I'll show you to the side. Up and back. Okay, so that was B. Awesome job. Let's do the whole thing one more time. 
One, two, three, four, five, six. 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 All right, now I'm going to teach you my favorite section, C, because it's nice and dramatic and I have lots of styling. Okay, so um, again, C, the first time we do it is actually going to face 6 o'clock, which would be me facing you, but I'm going to do it facing 12 o'clock so you can do it along with me. Okay, we step across on our left foot on one. Sweep that right foot around from back to front, two, three. You're going to press onto your right foot. We're facing our favorite corner as we press into it on four. We're going to recover five, step forward six. Okay? So that again, we step one, sweep two, three, press four, back five, six. Next six, we step forward, but really remember, I don't know why I said remember because I haven't told you yet, but this first part is about like the sweeps on the accent, okay? So the first one we went one sweep, accent, and uh, step, you're right, sweep, sweep, as you make a half turn and you sweep from front to back with your right foot. So we just stepped on our left. Now, you may notice I am wound up. I am slightly wound because I know I need to twerk my body, word of the day, twerk, so I can sweep and half turn, okay? Make sure you finish that sweep all the way behind your left foot because you're gonna step down onto it on three. This is actually a quick sweep, okay? So one, sweep, two, step three. This is because on four, we're going to flick our left foot to the side, okay? So imagine my least favorite thing ever is cockroaches, okay? So imagine there's a cockroach on your toe, or a snake, or whatever you don't like, a spider, or, you know, like, bills or something, okay? <laughs> taxes, taxes are attached to your foot, okay? And what you're gonna do is you're gonna ah! get them off real quick, okay? You wouldn't go like, Meh. get off, okay? You wanna get them off really quick, and it's an accent, so we're accentuating that by flicking and pulling it right back in, okay? An alternative, if you don't have anything you hate, you know, if you love cockroaches and taxes and bills and whatever, um, or, you know, you just don't want to flick, an alternative would just be, um, as you step back, just to lift that foot, okay? Okay, so we swept, step, flick, cross, side, back, okay? So, that was two, three, four, uh, I like four, five, six. So all of that so far goes one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Really easy now, back twinkles. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're almost done. You're going to take a big step on your left foot to face 3 o'clock. One, you're going to drag that right foot in. Two, three. You may notice, torqued. Very good. No, not twerk. Twerk. I know I say it funny, so i got to make the joke, okay? We are twerked. So we can unwind and turn towards our right, stepping forward on our right. Half turn, stepping back on our left, again to our right. And I said full turn, but really it's three quarters of a turn because you make a quarter turn on your right foot, stepping to the side. Step, half, quarter. So let me add in the arm styling of C. That's going to be your favorite part. I know it. Okay. Um, so we step forward on our left as we sweep our right foot from back to front and go to our favorite diagonal, we are going to bring our left arm up, okay? 
So as we're sweeping, our left arm is going to windmill. Okay, so all I'm really going to do is I'm going to go like this. Boop. See, that's so hard. Let me do it facing you. I'm going to go. Boop. You have to make the noise too because it helps. Okay. <laughs> so we step on one. We windmill our arms. Two, three. Finishing four. Recover five, step six. Stepping one, sweeping two, stepping three. We are going to, my foot, as you may notice, is pressed into the ball of the foot. I'm going to go from forced arch, which is what I'm doing currently. I'm forcing my arch forward. I'm going to go from this position into releve. I'm going to press onto the ball of my foot. Okay? So as I press up, I'm also going to lift my arms. That will help me get my, my momentum. Wow, that was hard to say. <laughs> I'm going to help get my momentum going up by throwing my arms up there, okay? So I'm going press, and as I press, easy version, lift the leg, boom. Hard version, flick. That really accents the music. I also tend to flick my hands, too, because I like an all-over body accent, okay? <laughs> so, again, that last part was step sweep, stepping three, up four, stepping down five, six. Now for our back twinkles, a little extra arm styling I like to do, is as I step to the side, I throw my arm out, okay? Side, recover, back, side, recover, okay? Just a little like reachy, reachy business. Totally unnecessary, but totally Megan, okay? so. If you want to do that, again, from our flick, cross, side, it's back, arm, with the side foot. So you just think side, back, arm, side, back. Okay? Now, our last thing is as we step back and we twerk, I'm going to, I'm going to face you, I'm going to bring my hand into my heart, because we're talking about some serious love here, okay? So obviously you need to touch your heart, okay? So we're here for our turn to finish the dance. Okay, so now you've learned all of Serious Love. All right, y'all, that was Serious Love. You did an awesome job. Now, if you liked my teach, please press the like button down below. And if you want more teaches and demos, please subscribe. As an added bonus, you can share this video with all your friends, and I will love you forever. It's true. Okay, so I hope you liked the dance, and I hope to see you dancing it out there on the dance floor. Thanks for watching. Other parks, that it's like a little bar and two things, and it's boat and swings like this. Or like how you rock a baby. I guess that would be a more universal reference. But anyway, okay. Now, I hope you enjoyed the dance. And I really hope to see you doing it out on the dance floor, okay? Practice.